Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's Tuesday review, we're going to be taking a look at two hair products by the brand Briogeo. This is the Briogeo Rosarco Blow Dry Protection and Heat Protectant Cream, and this is the Briogeo Rosarco Milk Reparative Leave-In Conditioner Spray. I bought the blow dry cream first. I think I saw it in a Coffee Break with Danny video. She talked about how much she loved it, so I bought it. And then I had a sample of the leave-in conditioner spray from either an Ipsy bag or Gem Beauty or something like that, and I really liked it, so I bought it. So I guess there's your spoiler alert. I really like both of these products. Now, before I get any farther into how I feel about these products, let's take a look at them on the Sephora website. Uh, they are a little bit more expensive, uh, you know, higher end hair products. The prices aren't that bad. They could be worse, but still. So first, let's look at the Rosarco Blow Dry Perfection Heat Protecting Cream. It retails for $30 Canadian. What it is, a weightless blow dry finishing and heat protecting cream fortified with rosehip, argan, and coconut oils. In case you didn't know, that's what the Rosarco stands for. Rosehip, argan, coconut. Cool, right? It says it protects against heat damage up to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Smooths hair, tames frizz, enhances shine and softness. Blah, 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 blah. How to use. Apply one to two quarter size amounts into freshly washed damp hair evenly from root to tip. For added moisture and conditioning, use the leave-in conditioner, which I use now. Uh, so yeah, great. So then let's jump over and take a look at the leave-in conditioning spray. This one retails for $26 Canadian and you get uh, five ounces of product in it. So details, an ultra light leave-in conditioning spray that brings hydration and moisture to locks without weighing them down. How to use a spray throughout clean damp hair, concentrating on the mid length and ends below or air dry than style as usual. So both of these products are heat protecting in some way. Uh, in the past, I have never really been a big hair blow dryer, but now that it's kind of started to grow out again from when I cut it all off, I really like don't like doing my hair in the morning. So because when I let it dry naturally, it does go pretty straight unless I sleep on it wet. So I wash my hair at night and then I hit it with the blow dryer a little bit and then I go, I go to sleep in the morning and I wake up, it's fine and I can straighten it. So that's two heat processes. So it's really important to me to protect my hair from heat damage. So how I use both of these products is after I get out of the shower, I spray the leave-in conditioner spray in my damp hair, focusing on the mid lengths and going th through the ends. I don't use a lot. Don't use a lot because a little bit goes a long way with this stuff. And I do find that if I use too much, my hair feels like greasy. So just a couple of sprays, that's all it takes. And then I brush that through. I usually wait about 10 to 15 minutes and then I go in with the blow dry cream. I just put a little bit of that in my hand, rub my hands together, and then I just pull it all throughout my hair, the ends, the roots, around my face especially, because you tend to use uh, hotter heat or more heat, I guess, around your face, because you think that's the most important, but then all your hair breaks off around your face because you're heat damaging the hair. So that's why so many of us have like little tiny broken pieces around our face because we're heat damaging them, right? So, so it's really important to make sure that you're not neglecting those pieces. I really like both of these products. They both smell really nice. They both work a lot for my hair type. I have hair that is thick. There's a lot of hair here. Uh, uh, it's pretty straight naturally. The roots tend to get greasy and the ends tend to get dry. That's how my hair, that's what my hair does the longer I leave it without washing it. I get really greasy, nasty roots and then the ends feel like straw. So products like this that really focus towards the end of your hair and hydrating the end of your hair are perfect for me. That being said, however, my sister with drier hair than me uh, has actually used the leave-in conditioner spray herself and said that she didn't find it did much for her hair really anyway. So I really feel like this provides really good moisture if you don't have super dry hair, if you just have dry-ish hair, if that makes any sense. Briogeo is also an all-natural brand, so you can, you know, they're not that expensive, and you, if you if you were to use their products, you feel kind of better about it, because you know there's not like all this gross chemical stuff that you're putting in your hair, you know what I mean? Like some of the higher-end hair products are still full of all the same junk that the $1 hair products are. So it's nice to know that these are higher-end hair, hair products that have great ingredients in them. Do I recommend buying both products? No, you probably need one or the other. Sometimes I feel silly with the fact that I have both because they basically both do the same thing. Personally, I like the, the, the leave-in spray a little bit better than the cream, uh, but that's really up to you and your hair type at the end of the day. I fully recommend trying Briogeo, but I understand that the price is a little bit daunting because it is so expensive, so don't feel bad if you can't. Like really what I do is I use these as like my leave-in conditioner, heat protectant type stuff, and then I use all my cake stuff for styling. And I use my Argan Oil Art Naturals conditioner in the shower to like really hydrate it, and then this is just like an added bonus. I have no complaints other than the fact that the price is a little bit steep on some of their products. Like I went to buy one of their scalp shampoos the other day and it was $54. That's too expensive. But these products, products like this, are not that badly priced. Anyway, I hope that made sense and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed already and I will see you next time. Bye!